Hillary Clinton's campaign is getting more aggressive this morning. It rejects the idea that she knew emails in her private server had classified information. Clinton's lawyer confirmed on Wednesday that the server was indeed erased. In an interview, a campaign spokeswoman had trouble explaining how. So okay, the question is, look at what did now? she ask they're gonna, they're to gonna, be done with those emails? They, to be deleted. And beyond that, I don't know. And beyond that, I don't understand. I don't know. Everyone, this is like everyone's a, uh, uh, an expert on inflating footballs, and now everybody's an expert on wiping servers. Like, I don't know how that all works. Jan Crawford is in Washington, where we are learning two of Clinton's emails. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning. So those two emails are giving us a, an idea of the kind of information that was being exchanged on her private server. Both of them were uncovered in the ongoing congressional investigation into the attack in Benghazi, Libya. And intelligence officials say they contained classified information. The first email from April 2011 was forwarded to Clinton by aide Huma Abedin. It cited intelligence reports from the U.S. Africa Command on Libyan troop strength and movements. The second, forwarded by aide Jacob Sullivan, outlined reports of possible arrests in connection with the Benghazi attack. The emails are among the some 30,000 Clinton turned over to the State Department from her private server. On Monday, the State Department said it had reviewed 20 percent of those and flagged 305 emails as potentially containing classified information. The concern in the intelligence community is that classified emails on a private server could be more easily hacked or compromised. Clinton has insisted she did not send classified email through her private server or receive any that was marked classified, something campaign press uh, secretary Brian is, Fallon reiterated uh, on Wednesday. As the State Department is on record saying none of the information in that email was classified at the time it was sent, and that's consistent with what Hillary Clinton and our campaign has been saying from the beginning. But it is not just Clinton's private server that may have contained classified information. The State Department filed court papers Wednesday saying it does not believe that any personal computing device was issued by the department to Clinton. Dan Ackerman is an editor at CNET. Anytime you're bringing your own equipment and using it uh, for work purposes, uh, it's not as secure as something that's actually issued by the company because they take those laptops, for example, uh, and they pre-configure them. And despite the campaign's insistence that the emails weren't marked classified at the time, intelligence sources say that doesn't matter. Documents, emails, handwritten notes, those can contain classified information and not necessarily be formally classified. Charlie? Jan, thanks.